We got Red Robin here, Cousin Brandon, and <laughs> DJ Tessa. <laughs> Roof here. Uh, We're going yeah, big. We're going <laughs> big. <laughs> something different about the opening today is that I bought is that is that my amazing friend Karen McHugh at Sammy's camera hooked me up this amazing 19 inch LED light I've been waiting and waiting to be able to afford to be able to buy one of these things I know they're not super expensive but I've been spending so much money on other stuff production related wise that my own show was the least of priorities of stuff that I needed to get. But, but check out this ring light. Ooh, how sweet, how sweet is that thing? How cool is that? Again, the problem I was having shooting before was that I only could shoot at certain times of the day and if I was too late to shoot, I didn't have any light. The only light I had was the makeup station and that's it. and that still didn't look very good. This looks way better. Now, the only problem, the only problem with this is that I can't really wear my sunglasses during this because I look like I'm in a mace video or something. Now, who shot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell on the stores? You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who jewels got pop, who mostly go to them. But anyway, that's why I can't wear the glasses, I'm gonna have to just look straight into the thing, which is so hard to do because I wanna do What I do with my glasses off, I don't look like I'm looking at you. I look over here. When I have the glasses on, when I do this, I can look back here and then look over there. Can't really tell that I'm doing this. I try to pretend to look over there. And I'm supposed to be doing this. But when I have glasses on. But I'm just doing this. It always looks like I'm looking at camera. This is a friend of mine, uh, Tessa Young. She's an amazing DJ. She started this company where she reps all girl DJs. So she has, I think like 18 or 20 girls that she reps now. She's so busy she can't take all the jobs. This is the beginning of when we actually had our first meeting. Came up with kind of like the idea of, and then our follow-up meeting, which went into a little bit more detail about the shoot. And then later on in a few episodes, you'll actually get to see the making of this video. Here is episode 27, client meeting, uh, indoor swinging with clients and meetings. Something <laughs> around that. I already forgot. I combed my hair this morning. I think I'm gonna stop filming so I can actually eat before the clients get here. I'm in a rush. Every production is coming at once. Control everything. No, this is my vlog. How's it going, Tess? Good. Thanks for rolling good? on through. Yeah, Are you absolutely. the only one? No high heels, what happened there? And this is not just a regular table. This is a coffin table. Whoa. There's your cover right there. I know. Prism DJs. Yeah. Photo shoot in a coffin. Setting you with your booth in front of that window and doing a really cool Stanley Kubrick push into you. There's going to be about 15 girls. So I have to do like. 15 DJs? Yeah. I don't know about bringing two tables in here. This shit is. I, well, I might have to have this system. Yep. Reach out because it's like a cool reach out and they're not going to. I do it all the time. I'm not even a real director. I'm not going to do this. Like there's no tomorrow. Okay. trying to crank it through. And again, them dealing with two different photographer personalities. A regular guy, yeah. you know what I mean? He's yeah. done his hustle. So I'm like, this is right up his alley. I feel it would take a lot of pressure off in doing it in two days. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you, I, I you have a you. little bit more time to work with everyone. And it's great seeing these pre-production meetings before uh, the actual shoots. 
So you can kind of see a bit of the process that we go through. Yeah. Sweet, look at presents that I'm getting. Yeah. The well, I'm gonna take the one ton chips upstairs with Watch Tessa. <laughs> it's a baby G. It's not a big one. Mm, made well. Online. Fox just got here. We got Red Robin here, cousin Brandon, and <laughs> DJ Tessa. Oh, we going yeah. big. I think if he was Red Robin. <laughs> we going big. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not carrying shit. <laughs> this is always the best way. Who wants to race? <laughs> to end the day. You guys got to come for Fourth of July one year. Oh, that's cute. We're so close. It's insane. <laughs> I came, I, I actually took Avalon all the way down. Dude, my ride was 15 minutes from here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't! So. Did you? I didn't! That's what it does. Damn, matter. bro. Cousin Brandon, DJ Tessa. Hi. <laughs> all DJs flying in, trying to get your job. Yeah. Trying to take your money. It's our videographer right here. Our videographer right here. I wish uh, this rooftop was made out of concrete. One time I had a uh, company offer me $6,000 to land a helicopter here for 30 minutes because they had to get a shot downtown and uh, they needed to do this chase scene so they needed a place for the helicopter to stand by before it actually did the shot. And I was calling all around the city trying to figure out a way to build some sort of stabilized steel beam platform on this thing. Unfortunately, I couldn't do the job. Couldn't get it. It's all good. <laughs> Chaos over here.